Welcome back, and I'm Wu Ruiguo. In this final segment of the Taiwan Outlook, we will continue our discussions with Mr. Paul Xu, who is the chairman and CEO of FICO International and also the president of Epoch Foundation here in Taiwan. Paul, in this final segment, yes. we're going to widen our discussion mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. onto the international arena. Mm -hmm. You had mentioned earlier that Taiwan during the industrial takeoff mm -hmm. period in the 60s and 70s, we were well known for our hardworking ethics, mm -hmm. uh, our value added, and our manufacturing edge mm -hmm. you know, uh, at the, uh, during those years. But of course, we're looking at a completely different world mm -hmm. today. Where do you think that Taiwan does still enjoy a niche Mm. or a competitive edge in today's world? Mm. Well, if we talk about the model for economic development, yes. I, think, I think Taiwan continues to mm. be a very good model. Yeah, okay? a success. And uh, the good mm. thing about the Taiwan model is we are advancing. Okay. Uh, because, you know, we were OEMer for many <laughs> products. Okay. Yes, right? yeah. And then some of the uh, company uh, shift, uh, upgrade themselves to, to you know, ODM or D4 yes. Design. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, uh, some other company, of course, a fewer number, mm -hmm. have now uh, developed their own brand name. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it developed also a uh, worldwide distribution system. Yes. I think this kind of, you know, acceleration of their business model mm -hmm. or upgrading of their business model yes. uh, should be something that we should pay attention to and mm -hmm. on the part of government I think there are many, many policy has been announced to encourage that. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, we have a lot of hidden value which has n has not been mm -hmm. uh, exposed to the world. No, mm -hmm. for instance, our research capability. I'm talking about the outside world really doesn't know mm -hmm. how advanced our agricultural technology is, because those research organization. Mm -hmm. Never even had a website. No. I uh, mm -hmm. never even have a, 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 a English or foreign language uh, explanation about how much research they have been done. Mm -hmm. okay. They have done in the past. No. Mm -hmm. So this kind of effort, uh, we should, you know, uh, let the whole world. This kind of effort really should be done. I think I, I would urge government to help. Okay. Uh, let the whole world know mm -hmm. Taiwan's research capability in the sector we talk about. Yes. Uh, in the healthcare sector, in the agriculture and food, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, in the uh, 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 creative industry, maybe less. We need to develop more creative industry first. Mm -hmm. But healthcare, yes. education uh, 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 potential. Yes and also the agriculture and food area. Mm -hmm. I think the government should let the whole world know mm -hmm. that, we have uh, yeah, these. that we have those things. And mm -hmm. then government should have another policy mm -hmm. to welcome contract research. Mm -hmm. okay. So when the foreign, no, no matter which country around the world, mm -hmm. uh, which corner around the world, if mm -hmm. they have a problem, maybe <clears throat> they can seek solution from Taiwan. Mm -hmm. Taiwan's okay. Research Institute. Yes. So contract research okay. is one area. Mm -hmm. The second area uh, uh, is uh, the, uh, the uh, many international organizations, mm -hmm. they have open bid yes. to invite private sector to bid for a certain development project in developing area. Mm -hmm. okay. Recently I have experienced that uh, Asian Development Bank, yes. as well as the uh, European Bank of uh, uh, Reconstruction and Development, mm -hmm. they all have tremendous project, business opportunity to come to Taiwan mm -hmm. to encourage yeah. Taiwan industry to participate. Yes. And very few of our industry participated. Because Some said we never heard about this okay. opportunity. Uh, yes. Some said we don't have the language, the language. facility. Okay. Uh, we cannot go to uh, Central Asia because they speak uh, Russian and okay. all that. Mm -hmm. So that's area we should enhance. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, since we are also on the topic of yeah. soft power yeah. in Taiwan, right. you know, when you talk about soft power, mm -hmm. in recent years, Taiwan certainly 
has had his moment mm -hmm. on the international stage, mm -hmm. uh, particularly mm -hmm. in the movie industry, for example. Sure. Yeah. You know, our uh, yeah. world-famous director, yeah. Ann Lee, yeah. has done marvelously well right. on the right. international stage. Right. Right. And also at, in the Asia regional mm -hmm. you know, arena, mm -hmm. we certainly see a lot of our popular music. Mm -hmm. you know, Mr. Jay Zhou, uh, mm -hmm. who is well-known around mm -hmm. the region, and also a lot of the creative artists mm -hmm. that we see. Yeah. And do you think then, you know, in terms of the soft power, as mm -hmm. you are one of the leading mm -hmm. experts on mm -hmm. the issue in Taiwan, mm -hmm. that we can really push Taiwan onto the regional and also the international you know, stage as the next phase? As you mm -hmm. said earlier, mm -hmm. we continue to sure. advance sure. in our development. Sure. Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. But we need to make a lot of effort. Uh, okay. I, I use another example. Mm -hmm. Our trading policy is still encouraging trading of Taiwan-made product. I think that's very backward thinking. Yes. We should encourage modernized trading system yes. to be established, mm -hmm. to trade not only Taiwan-made product, but mm -hmm. also a product made by Taiwanese company outside mm -hmm. Taiwan. Exactly. But also mm -hmm. the product made by non-Taiwanese company. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because, yeah, because yeah, we should develop that capability. Okay. And uh, that so others and can encourage that yes. because uh, uh -huh. we trade other people's uh, product. Mm -hmm. We probably can get very good margin. Yes. But also, mm -hmm. we haven't think about trading of technology. No, there has never intangible yes. property. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. it's like licensing of, mm -hmm. of Taiwan's uh, uh, know-how mm -hmm. to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And also, as I said earlier, accept you know contract research, uh, research from yes. other countries. Mm -hmm. So, so this is the way we can enlarge our international arena. Mm -hmm. And also, I think one thing very important mm -hmm. that Paul, in your earlier discussion that came up, is maybe because the international isolation mm -hmm. that we've suffered, you know, as an island nation in the last ten or fifteen years, that we really don't have apparently enough you know, internationally in tuned quality people that can help us, you know, both in terms of the language, in terms of the ways of doing business, in terms of speaking the same, you know, level yeah, of, yeah. you know, uh, uh, dialogue uh, uh, with many of the companies mm -hmm. and countries mm -hmm. around the world. Do you think that's a problem that's being addressed and we're doing better in that uh, area? I'm not sure. It's no, been not properly sure. addressed. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, from government sector and from private sector. Yes. You know, many years ago, uh, a group of uh, friends yes. and I served as an advisor mm -hmm. to uh, uh, create an uh, industrial park in Ireland in a place called Ringis Kitty, County Cork. Okay. And uh, beautiful, beautiful industrial park and yes. you know, right near the water. Yes. But uh, <clears throat> at the end of the day, that project failed because we were thinking about bringing the Taiwan company to uh, manufacture there, okay. and so the product manufacturing in Ireland can yes. go into the European common market. Yes. Uh -huh. But most of our companies, Taiwan companies, mm -hmm. <coughs> discover other convenient places like China to invest. Okay. And uh, I think they say there's language barrier. Okay. But I want to bring the old project back to the scene because. Uh, a lot of second generation mm -hmm. business, business uh, owner, mm -hmm. they've been educated abroad. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't have any language problem, no. but they need to have a broad mind. Mm -hmm. Broader and, and, and not just enjoying the fruits no. <laughs> of uh, <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. uh, their parents has, yeah. has created, mm -hmm. but be more aggressive and exactly. go into the international market. Mm -hmm. And we have to create our own space. Yes. And, and I niche. see a lot of opportunity. Yes. Okay, for instance, uh, the example I use. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. That presents a lot of opportunity. But mm -hmm. uh, don't blame others, blame ourselves. Yes. <laughs> and finally, Paul, I'm going to ask mm -hmm. you a question, mm -hmm. maybe closer to heart. Mm -hmm. you know, in the sense that you know, in your career, throughout mm -hmm. your career so mm -hmm. far, mm -hmm. you've been playing a, a beautiful role of mm -hmm. bridging mm -hmm. the private sector mm -hmm. with the public sector. Mm -hmm. you know, interpreting mm -hmm. the policy for the benefits mm -hmm. of the private sector, but also at the same time, you know, uh, congregating the ideas and visions mm -hmm. 
of the private sector and give it to government mm -hmm. as very important input mm -hmm. in government policy making. Mm -hmm. There must have been times that you were frustrated because these two sectors generally mm -hmm. speak mm -hmm. very different languages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and somebody like you who plays mm -hmm. that you know bridge role, you know, could often be you know frustrated, mm -hmm. you know, because you know they don't communicate. They talk, mm -hmm. they meet, but they don't really communicate. Yeah. How do you resolve <laughs> that problem? When people encounter frustration, there are two reactions. Okay. One is give up. Yes. Another is take it as a challenge. Yes. So I think I choose to... You often to, took the, you know, <laughs> I the choose ladder. to take it as a challenge. <laughs> yes. And yeah. you just kept going. That's right. And you still, you know, from your you know, early career in law mm -hmm. and now onto the, you know, the concept mm -hmm. of soft power mm -hmm. in Taiwan, mm -hmm. this is something that I don't think mm -hmm. anybody before you mm -hmm. has really done the systematic, mm -hmm. you know, uh, research and study mm -hmm. on the issue. And what is your secret for, you know, for uh, keep going and uh, after you've accumulated, you know, such a wealth of experiences? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, this is. Uh, uh, I don't see any secret. It's just uh, interest, <laughs> uh -huh. right? What what, and, what keeps uh, you going? I, I I kept teaching. Okay, good. And uh, the course, the only course I'm teaching after 36 years of teaching law, uh, teaching at National Taiwan University Law School. Exactly. The only course I'm teaching now is at Zhengda, oh. National Zhengzhou University. Yes. Um, the uh, New business model development in service sector. Okay, that is very <laughs> brown, so, you know, so groundbreaking. So I'm, I'm, I'm yes. interested in the subject. Yes, and that's one of the reason keep me going. But I also, there's no secret because secret is not supposed to be shared, right? Yes. So I was argue there's no secret, mm -hmm. but I like everybody to mm -hmm. share with me okay. of some of the thought. If you think it's worthwhile. Yes. Join us. Yes. And, make a uh, commitment. Yeah, and, and uh, just also make a difference. Yes. <laughs> Good. Thank you very much, Paul, for being on the Taiwan Outlook. I certainly, along with many viewers at home, mm -hmm. you know, enjoy our conversation. I will look forward to you know having you back on the program in the future. Yeah. My pleasure, Ray. Yes. Well, thank you for watching the Taiwan Outlook. I am Murigo. I'll see you next time on Macroview Television.